Come in, Ben. Come on, pick up. It's serious this time. Jimmy! I swear. Dinner! No time for that now, Mom! I got the fate of the world in my hands here! Come on, Ben, where are you? Jimmy? Ben, sorry about that. My head's been a little full being a hero and all. <laughs> you know how it is. Now tell me what you've heard about the new Sumo Slammers 3D movie. Ain't an awesome website. I don't care about that, Ben. Oh, this is serious. I've been monitoring a cosmic storm on the outskirts of our galaxy that seems to be making its way towards the Earth. You have to do something. All right, calm down, man. Send me the coordinates and I'll show you how the pros handle these things. Attention! All plumbers in Section 7G, this is Ben Tennyson. Investigate possible cosmic storm approaching coordinates Alpha Niner Tango. Repeat Alpha Niner Tango. Ben Tennyson, out. There you go, Jimmy. You can relax now. Let the plumbers in the vicinity look into it. Now, go back to answering my fan mail on my blog, will ya? It's piling up. Thanks. You're the best. Mean uh, it. But, but, but... Creatures. Why are they in Paris? Probably like eating snails. They're considered a delicacy there, you know. Who are we to judge? I mean, what are they doing on Earth? I knew what you meant. Just trying to lighten up the sense of impending doom. See, this is what Jimmy should be spending his time monitoring and telling me about. Not some space storm that's millions of miles away. Come on! This is Will Harang, and you're watching the Will Harang Nation. Welcome, people, and once again, that menace to society known as Ben 10 wreaked havoc on poor, unsuspecting citizens like you and me. They're just trying to earn an honest living. Only this time, the destruction wasn't limited to our United States. Oh, no, no. Outside the borders, people. And this footage provided us by a reliable source who has to remain anonymous, you can clearly see for yourselves that Ben Tennyson has turned his wave of destruction against our longtime allies, Italy and France. Ben 10. Threat or menace, people? You decide. Give me a break. Attention, plumbers in Alpha Niner Tango, come in. Still can't get through? You'd think they'd want to know about all these alien bounty hunters showing up on Earth for some reason. Plumber communication channels are completely full of chatter. Let me see if I can hone in on what they're all so chatty about. <gasps> no! We've got to get out there and do something! Once again, bearer of the Ultimatrix, the burden of protecting your entire planet lies with you. Azimuth? What are you doing here? Uh-oh. You must be in trouble, Tennyson. Indeed. But not with me. With him. Who is it? A creature so powerful that even the Ultimatrix I created may not be enough to protect the Earth against it. We need to round up all the plumbers in the galaxy. Form a protective brigade around the Earth. So they can fall, just as their noble comrades before them? No. Then what? There may be a way to temporarily enhance the power of the Ultimatrix. Great! Do it! I cannot. But perhaps my ancestors can. I was not the first of my kind to pursue an interest in the sciences that led to my eventual creation of the Omnitrix and Ultimatrix. 
Eons ago, my scientific ancestors, the ancient Galvan, created a device they dubbed the Potus Altiari for its amazing power-enhancing abilities. But power often corrupts. So, my people hid the Potus Altiari, the one place in the galaxy they knew it would be safe from any attempts to use it for evil. Earth. Because you knew ancient Earthlings had noble hearts, and would only ever use it for good. What planet have you been living on? We chose Earth because it's such a backward planet that even if the Potus Altiari were discovered, you primitive Earthlings wouldn't have any idea what to do with it. Now, where was I? Oh yes. Upon entering Earth's atmosphere, the Potus Altiari was torn asunder, each piece falling like a meteorite to a different point on your planet's surface. Huh. Reminds me of the Omnitrix crashing here back when I was a kid and found it. You Galvin sure are obsessed with sending your top tech to Earth. Kevin! What? I can't be the only one thinking it. Ahem. For centuries now, each piece of the Potus Altiari has been affecting the lore landscape, and even the locals themselves in each of the areas of your world where they land. How could the Earthlings, I mean people there, never have noticed? Perhaps they notice something, but being primitive as you are, attributed the phenomena incorrectly. Weather balloons, crop circles... The Potus Altiari can give you, Ultimatrix Bearer, the power you need to defend the Earth from the approaching threat. But where do we start looking? The pieces could be anywhere. Some place with weather and crops? Well, that narrows it down. How is it you came to have a piece of the Potus Altiari? We thought it was just some dusty old alien artifact. The Vredel brothers and Sunder were after it in Paris. Can I touch it? Enoch had another piece just like this one when I was fighting him back in Rome. Probably super enhanced his powers from being around it for so long. So you have two? Excellent, Ben Tennyson! Uh, that one's still in Rome. What? I didn't know! I only kept this one because all those bounty hunters in Paris were so interested in it. Figured it must be important. You figured right. You must return to Rome and retrieve that piece immediately. We already know where that one is, and Ben took care of all the bad guys around it. Better go try to find the others first. Yeah, before that cosmic cloud guy gets here and finds out about it. Not a concern. The existence of the Potus Altiare is known only to the Galvin. And now you. A cosmic storm. Ben, one of the aliens you can turn into is a species that's created in cosmic storms. A Toku star. Azimuth, it's not... Yes. Earthlings may have actually had a chance at discovering life on that planet since it was so close to their solar system. Oh well, too late now. <laughs> Those primitive bacteria's lives lost matter not to me. Their world was merely in my way. Of course, Master. At least Pluto will pose no such concern for you. That planet has long since been destroyed. Pluto was never really a planet. Uh, some consider it was. What I do not! Then it is not, Master. You are well practiced as a toady, Siphon. Vilgax thought so. Then why would you leave his side? I choose to serve only the most powerful. For a while, that was Vilgax. I considered Agrigor, but he preferred to work alone. And look where it got him. Now it is you, Master. Are you saying that you cannot be trusted to remain loyal? I should kill you now and be rid of you! A thousand pardons if I offend you, Master. Your wish is of course my command. I live to serve. You only live if I say you live. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You need me. 
The robot extermination devices I left dormant on Earth during my time with Vilgax answer only to my commands. If you want them to find what you are looking for, you must allow me to live. Ah, I see how you have managed to survive your other masters for so long. Impressive. Now activate the Reds! Guys? Unauthorized alien activity on a large scale is suddenly being detected at Devil's Tower in Wyoming. Is that the place I think it is? You cannot deviate from your purpose, Ben Tennyson. What is happening in this why yumming will be of no consequence if the Earth is lost. People have been thinking they've had close encounters with UFOs there for years. Maybe because a piece of the POTUS Altiari has been there all this time affecting the area. Hmm. Possible. It does indeed warrant investigation. Go now, Ben Tennyson. I must attend to other matters. The safety of the Earth depends upon you. When doesn't it? Remember, if you ever need me, just click your heels together three times. Really? No! Of course not! Ah! I should have known he would find a way to... to get in the way. Tennyson! track where the other pieces are? Shh, I'm trying to concentrate. Enough already, Gwen. This is too dangerous. Wait, I think I'm getting something. Help me out here, Ben. If just one of those pieces was strong enough to supercharge our enemies... Think of what would happen if it did even half that to someone as powerful as Gwen. We don't want to have to fight you, okay? Why? Because you would lose? <laughs> I got this. Uh. You okay, Gwen? I think so. No more of that. It's not worth risking one of our own friends. Or us. I think I caught a glimpse of where one of the other pieces is, though. The Great Wall of China. Shouldn't be too hard to find it there. I mean, how big can a wall be? They say you can see it from space. Hey, just cause they say it doesn't mean it's true. Says the guy who doesn't even know how big the Great Wall is. Am I the only one who saw that dragon? Ben? Wake up, Tennyson. I think he's coming too. Oh. Whoa. What happened? That was some hit you took back there. Next time, you better wear a helmet. I'm gonna need more than just a helmet next time if it's against that way big who's heading to Earth. Ugh. Just a figure of speech, dude. Now that your reds have proven useless to me, I have no further use for you, Siphon. Ah, uh, but Master, if it pleases you, I have already taken the liberty to remotely have my reds seize one of Ben Tennyson's own most trusted allies, who even now has fallen under our control. Our control? Uh, of course I mean your control. Excellent work. 
I may just let you live long enough to witness me crush Ben Tennyson and his entire world! And for that, I am grateful, Master. Show me this comrade of Tennyson's who now does my bidding from afar. Where to next, hero? There's no reason to be sarcastic. Do I ever need a reason? Guys, come on! Keep it together! If we can't rely on each other, we're in real trouble! Ben! Cooper? Plumber's helper! Security compromised! Kidnapped me! Tokyo! Can't trust any- Come alone! Ben! Help! I'm going with you. Bad idea, Glenn. But it's Cooper! And you heard what he said! I've got to go alone or they'll do something to him. Who will? I don't know. But I'm gonna go find out. Whew. I don't know how to thank you, Ben. I can't believe you got me out of that. I did what I had to do. You're a real friend. You don't even know. Azimuth is gonna be so disappointed in me. But nowhere near as disappointed as all the people of Earth are gonna be when that Waybig shows up and I can't fight him. What are you talking about? I think I may have hit you too hard back there. Sorry. But I could use my powers to help you fight. Good, because now that you made Tennyson blow his only chance of an ancient Galvin power-up, we're gonna need your help. And more. Get back to Bellwood fast and round up all the plumber's helpers you can find to defend the Earth. This is not a drill. How am I supposed to get there? Gwen? I can't do it just any old time we need to teleport somewhere. It takes too much out of me. But this is an emergency. Maven Avis. What are you trying to say? Rain it in, Romeo. That's a little harsh. <laughs> he almost lost his lips. Yeah, he's gonna lose more than that if he ever tries that move again. Wow, somebody's jealous. Of Cooper? Ugh. Give it a rest, guys. <gasps> Greetings, uh, wondrous ancient Galvin. Welcome to our Earth. Uh, I don't think they're alive then. They're just holograms. Maybe. No way to tell. Huh? Oh. They're trying to take the Ultimatrix! Don't give it to them, Ben! <clears throat> yes, I destroyed one of the pieces of your device to save my friend. You don't have to rub it in. Now I know where Azimuth gets it from. You really think the ancient Galvin came all the way here just to give you a hard time? Azmuth does. No. Azmuth only shows up when it's something very important. And to give Ben a hard time. You think the ancient Galvin were trying to tell me something important? Bingo. But if you're still missing a piece, what good is it gonna do you to find the rest of them? You wanna argue with the ancient Galvin? Come on. This is Will Harang, with a Will Harang Nation special report. Our reliable but anonymous source has once again provided us with stunning evidence of that vigilante vandal, Ben Tennyson, continuing his swath of destruction all over the world. 
But that's not the worst of it, concerned citizens. Ben Tennyson has brought about the apocalypse. That's right, the end of the world is nigh. I tried to warn you people about how dangerous Ben Tennyson is, but no! Now maybe you'll listen to me! Buy my book! Ben Ten! For the menace! You decide! I just know it's gotta be Jimmy posting battle footage of me on his website that's feeding all these clips to Will Harang! He wouldn't do that again, would he? Not after last time. Maybe not on purpose, but he's just a dumb kid, right? He doesn't know any better. How old is he, like 10? Hey, when I was 10, I was saving the world! Did you walk to school uphill both ways, too? It has to be Jimmy. Who else could it possibly be? This is a message for Ben Tennyson. Scython! That guy's still around? Surrender the Potus Altiari now, and the Earth may be spared the wrath of the mightiest being in the galaxy. Destroyer of worlds. The master of disaster! Yeah, right. Like that's gonna happen. I thought Asma said only Galvin knew about the existence of the Potus Altiari. Chalk up one thing the Galvin were wrong about. My master approaches. All tremble. Especially you, Ben Tennyson. Or you shall be the first to fall. How could Siphon know about the Potus Altiari? A Galvin must have told him. Impossible! We Galvin would rather die than give up our secrets to anyone. You told us. And a fat lot of good it did! The threat to Earth is upon us. And I shall be the first to fall, I know, I heard. This is no laughing matter, Ben Tennyson! I'm not laughing. When that evil Waybig gets to Earth, I'll be ready and waiting for him. Too late. I've got to get back to Rome and pick up that last piece. You mean first piece. Whatever! Gwen, I need you to teleport me there, now! But I can't. I told you I wouldn't be able to do that again anytime soon. It takes too much out of me. Wait, Azmuth, the Omnitrix once teleported us to the planet Primus when it was compelled to return there. So I recall. It was I who was waiting there to receive it, remember? If I can set the Ultimatrix to seek out the final piece of the Potus Altiari it requires... It may be compelled to teleport to it with you along. Excellent, Ben Tennyson. I hope this works. Ultimatrix must complete Potus Altiari. You've had this coming for a long, long time, Siphon. Altiari, Ben Tennyson, or else Earth will be destroyed! Told you we'd catch up to him here. Long flight from Central America to Italy. Even longer flight from Italy to Japan. Let's get moving. Did you get it? I'm ready to take on that evil way big now. Or die trying. Dude, if the ancient Galvin were just messing with you, that's exactly what's gonna happen. You don't have all the pieces of the Potus Altiari. You can't power enhance the Ultimatrix. That evil Waybig is totally gonna stomp you. Not if I stomp him first. Are you with me? Till the end of the world. 
which could be any minute now. It's hero time! what I'm talking about. I gotta hang on to this thing. This is gonna make my job so much easier. I wonder how much power it has. I bet it lasts forever. Or slightly less. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Not again. Somebody get that kid another hobby, stat. Sheesh. Hey, Jimmy, what's up now? The trailer for the new Sumo Slammers movie, Sumo Slammers 2, Electric Slammeroo, just hit the net. I'll send you a link. Sweet! Thanks, man. You're the best. Sorry I suspected you of, you know, spying on my every move earlier and everything. Well... Yeah? I am kind of right now totally monitoring that evil way big you just threw into space. <laughs> that was so tremendously cool, by the way. Looks like he landed on the moon and then just disappeared. Impossible. You must have just lost track of him when he arched behind it. I know what I saw. You're seeing things, kid. Speaking of seeing things, send me that link. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> Sumo Slammers 2, Electric Slammeroo. <laughs> year and a day alone in that cosmic storm, incubating the one single molecule of Tokastar DNA I managed to salvage back when you blew up the Omnitrix and left me for dead! Now I'm stuck on this dusty rock in this disgusting form again, and there are no chili fries! This could not get any worse. Oh! Ow! Ah! Oh! 